Get everyone, as we get to the end of 2023, one topic that still is relevant as it is at the end of the year that it was at the start of the year is about the Australian property market and how it has continued to skyrocket in prices. 13 rate rises still hasn't dampened the property market. And what I feel is un-Australian is people's inability to get into the market. So that's what I'm gonna talk about. Where do you see you sitting in the Australian property market if you're aspiring to get in? Is it unaffordable? In that sense is how long is it taking you to save for a deposit and how much is your borrowing capacity and ultimately what you can can you afford to buy there as well? So affordability is one part. Is the market unattainable? Now, what I'm talking about here is the house price to income ratio. So what we know is Australia is becoming one of the hottest markets that is unattainable to get in. So that's an issue that needs to be talked about as well. The next one here is, is it unachievable? Now, this really is a mindset thing that's fueled by the media, where I guess this belief that the Australian property market is unachievable. And what we know as mortgage brokers is that really shouldn't be the case. You buy what you can, when you can can and buying quality properties as well. And the last one here is under quoted or unrealistic prices. What I'm talking about here is what properties are listed for versus what they actually sell for. There's a huge disparity as well. Now I'm not saying that agents are doing this on purpose, quite on the contrary. I think what's happening here is people are paying over and above to secure a property because they're still good in an intense competition for quality properties that are listed as well. So as we come into the break, I just want you to think about where do you feel you sit and how do we get you moving out of whichever quadrant you're in, moving closer to achieving your great Australian dream. Thanks very much.